Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I've got seven killer tips for your Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. So these will boost performance, customize your phone and make life easier. And guess what? You can do these on other Galaxy phones too, not just the S25 Ultra. So stick around till the end. I promise you, you're going to learn at least one trick you've never seen before. So let's begin. So the first feature is where you can boost your gaming performance. So hidden inside your developer option, there is a setting called per CPU buffer size. So by increasing this, your device allocates more memory buffer per processor core. So this helps handle game data faster, reducing lag and stutter. So let me show you how you can do this. So here you need to go ahead and open up the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll all the way down until you see about phone, tap on this, then go ahead and tap on software information. And here you need to go ahead and tap multiple times on the build number. You need to do this until developer mode has been enabled. Now you want to go back and now you'll get this secret menu called developer option. Tap on this. Now you want to go ahead and make sure this is turned on. Scroll down and find system tracing. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down and find per CPU buffer size. Tap on this. And here, as you can see, it's currently set to 16,384 kilobytes. So you want to go ahead and increase this to 65,536 kilobytes. So the more you have, the more better performance you'll get. So if you're a gamer, this is gold. You'll notice smoother frame rates, less lag, and overall better gaming performance. So this is perfect for games like PUBG, Genshin Impact, or Fortnite. Your second feature is where you can watch 4K without buffering on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So by default, Android may not have the network throttling in the background. So in developer option, you need to go ahead and turn this on. So let me show you how you can basically watch 4K streams or 4K videos online without any buffering. So here we'll need to go ahead and open up the quick panel menu, tap on settings. Now next you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find developer option. Developer option can be enabled from about phone. So go ahead and tap on this. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down until you see network download limit or set network download limit. So here, network download rate limit. So here you can configure the network bandwidth ingress rate limit that apply to all the network that provides internet connectivity. Tap on this, but your by default will be 256, but you wanna go ahead and choose no limit. So now when you go ahead and choose no limit, you have no more buffering when you're watching 4K YouTube videos or streaming movies from Netflix or Disney. So your internet can now work at full speed without any artificial slowdowns. The third feature is where you can customize every button. So on your Samsung Galaxy device, you have a Routine Plus app, which is an add-on from Samsung's modes and routine. This will let you assign different actions to your phone's button. So here you have the volume key buttons, you have the side buttons, and many more. So here, for example, you can go ahead and double press your volume down, and this could basically launch a camera or maybe an app, or long pressing could also open up your favorite app. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and open up the Routine Plus module. So scroll down, find Routine Plus. Now here you wanna go ahead and create a new routine. Tap on the plus sign. Now here you need to go ahead and create the if and the then statement. So first we'll go ahead and configure the if. So scroll all the way down until you see button action which is coming from Routine Plus, tap on this. And now here you can go ahead and choose all your buttons. So you have your navigation buttons, or you have your side key, which is your side button and your volume up button and down button. And here you can go ahead and choose your interaction. So you can choose the home button. And if you double tap the home button, then let's just say you wanna do that. Now we can go ahead and make it do all these things. So here we'll go ahead and just search for open an app. So apps, and here we can go ahead and open an app. So as you can see, these are all the apps you can open. However, down below, you can also do task within that app. So let's just say, for example, Amazon shopping, you can go ahead and do search, look at your orders or cart or deals. So let's just say for now, I wanna go ahead and open up Argus and press done. Now I'll save that. I'll give that a name, press save, and now I'll go press home. So now when I want to go ahead and open up the Argus app, 
I can go ahead and double tap my home button and this will open up the Argus app. So like this, you can go ahead and configure this button, do whatever you like. So you can use a back button, recent button, side buttons, the volume up button or the volume down button. You can ask it to do touch and hold. So if you choose a key, you can go ahead and press and hold that certain key. And basically you can make it to do all these actions to open. So this makes your phone truly yours. You can save time by launching your most used apps or features instantly, no more swiping or searching required on your Samsung Galaxy device. The fourth feature is where you can change your icon shape to stars. So Samsung's Good Lock app, the theme park module, this will let you fully customize your icon shapes, including making them star shaped. So here we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you're gonna go ahead and tap on theme park. And now here you wanna go ahead and tap on icons, which is right here. Now we'll go ahead and create a new icon. And here we'll go ahead and choose all the different shapes. So you have circle, square, square with round corners, teardrop, flowers, rhombus, hexagon, and then you have the star. So if you like what you're seeing, you can go ahead and leave it as it is. Then you can go ahead and tap on save. Give it a name, so I'll put down star, okay. Now once that's done, find the star, tap on this and then apply it. Now press home. And now you'll see that all of your icons have changed into a star icon. So it's a fun way to make your phone stand out, reflect your personality. So every time you unlock your screen, you'll see something uniquely yours. The fifth feature is where you can see WhatsApp messages without opening the app. So on your Samsung Galaxy device, you can basically enable a setting or a widget, which basically lets you preview those WhatsApp messages without launching the full app. So let me show you how to do this. So in order to do this, you need to go ahead and long press on the home screen, tap on widgets. Now you wanna go ahead and open up the WhatsApp widget. Now go ahead and find the WhatsApp four by two. Tap on that and let's add that. So now as you can see, we've added this. I'll just go ahead and make this really large. So here we can go ahead and watch all these messages. So here is an example. I'll go ahead and send a message from my iPhone to my Samsung. So as you can see, messages have popped up on our notification panel and it has appeared on this widget. So as you can see, I can read all the messages that have appeared here. So it still tells me 400 messages. So from the same person, I can see those four messages. Now, if you go ahead and look at the person who I sent it from. So for example, this one here, this is the iPhone which I'm sending it from. And you'll see that none of the ticks have a blue mark on it. So it doesn't mean that this person has read it yet. However, on the Samsung S25 Ultra, I can see all the messages and I can basically read them without even opening the app. So as you can see, you can check messages instantly, stay updated, and you can avoid sending red receipts unless you want to reply. So it's fast, discreet, and it keeps your chat private. The sixth feature is where you can rotate the home screen, but not your lock screen. So Samsung lets you enable rotation of only of your home screen while keeping your lock screen fixed. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu. And here you need to go ahead and find your rotation icon. So here, as you can see, the auto rotate feature is here. So I'll go ahead and long press on this. And here now this will give you more options. So here this will let you enable the rotation on your home screen, lock screen, voice call screen, and also show rotate button or the bottom of your screen. So here we want to go ahead and rotate our home screen. However, we want to go ahead and lock our lock screen. So we'll switch off the lock screen and the video call screen. And now we can press done and now we'll press home. So now when we go ahead and rotate this screen on our home screen, as you can see, it's rotating. However, on our lock screen, you'll see that it'll stay as normal. So whichever way I turn this, it basically stays in portrait mode. Now let's say you want to rotate both your home screen and your lock screen. So you can go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, long press on the auto rotate feature. Now you wanna go ahead and turn on lock screen as well. So you can press done, press home, and now your home screen is rotating as normal and your lock screen is rotating as well. 
So this setting is perfect for when you're holding your phone sideways while browsing or watching videos. Your home screen rotates naturally, but your lock screen stays stable. And lastly, seventh feature is your suggested replies, where you can reply in one tap. So with suggested replies, this is reply in one tap, which is a time saver. So let me show you how to do this. So here, when a message arrives, you'll see a smart context aware reply chips. You can basically tap and reply back instantly. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and scroll down, find settings. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down and find advanced features. Now from here, you want to find labs. And then from here, you want to find suggested replies. Go ahead and tap on that. Here you want to go ahead and turn this feature on. So you get AI powered suggested replies to chat, text messages you receive, which is provided by Samsung keyboard. Messages are processed on your phone to provide suggested replies. So now we'll go ahead and open up WhatsApp. And now here we can go ahead and look at our suggested replies. So for example, if someone tells you hi, so as you can see, it's creating replies. And this is all the suggested replies. Hi, I was just in the shower. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Sorry, I'm currently offline. So you can go ahead and tap on that and then send it off. And now this person will reply back. And now it's creating a reply. So I said, you're a liar. So I said, I'm not lying, I am offline. And like this, you can basically use suggested replies. So you have lightning fast response. So this is perfect for when you're busy or on the move. And that's it, seven awesome S25 Ultra tips that you can use on most Galaxy phones. So if you learned something new, smash the like button. More like means YouTube shares this with more Samsung users. Drop a comment and tell me your favorite trick or share your own. And please hit that subscribe button because I've got more Galaxy tips coming with your way soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.